Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Timing Tarot. This is Tanya. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome here. Good afternoon, Divine Timing Tarot family. I love you, thank you, appreciate you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. New subscribers, I love you, love you, love you. So y'all, I'm almost at them 10,000 subscribers. I'm going to take a week. When I hit that, I'm going to take a week and I'm just going to be giving away free um, readings, okay? So, y'all better take advantage of that, okay? Um, I'm doing, um, I did y'all read the last two weeks of October. This is this week that y'all getting there because that last week, I'm not going to be, y'all not going to get that last, that um, last weekly. Because that's my birthday week, okay? And I'm not doing nothing. I'm going to be pampering on myself, okay? Period. But if y'all want to show some love and get your girl something, show her some love. My cash app and my PayPal is in the description box. My birthday is, in, is on Halloween, okay? I'm a Halloween baby. Y'all know I'm a Scorpio sign. Anywho, let's see what's going on with um, Libra for the last two weeks of October 2021. God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and it is a general reading, guys, okay? Libra, I've already shuffled sage, prayed over the cards, okay? Let's see what's going on. Let's get some overall energies for Libra for the last two weeks of... Um, 2021. You got the Ace of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is abundance. Universe is offering you. You're starting a new beginning here. Finances is going to be looking good for you. Abundance. And then we have justice. So you're trying to balance yourself out. If you're going through any legal issues, look like everything's going to go in your favor. Hmm. That's a good start. Uh-huh. Ooh. Abruption. The decadence. This is the tower. Are you spying on somebody, Libra? Or is someone spying on you? Huh? Give me one more card. For the overall energy. So something... Unexpected is going to be going down here. Could have something with the legal, with, with, with something legal here. Whatever is going to be going down is going to lead to a new beginning here. And it's going, it's going to get you balanced. Something is going to get you balanced. What's this last card? The Hermit. Ooh. This is Virgo energy. So, I'm getting something unexpected happen here. Someone ghosted a situation, maybe a new beginning here. I don't know y'all's story. King of Wands. Some, some, there was some action. There's going to be some action being taken here. Unexpectedly. Yeah. There's going to be some unexpected action going on. Let's clarify and see what's really going on here. Someone is definitely taking a look at a situation here. Let's see. Y'all, this may or may not resonate with everyone. If it resonates with you, it does. If it doesn't, please let it go. This is just a general reading, y'all. This is not a personal reading. So don't take it personal. Don't do it. Okay. God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. Why is this Ace of Pentacles? Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Too many cards, y'all. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? This is for Libra. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for Libra? Give me some clarification on this. 
Okay, so the Seven of Pentacles. So somebody wanted to invest in a new beginning here. The Hermit, but somebody ghosted a new beginning here. Someone ran off. Or someone just took a step back to see what it was they were investing in. Is this what I want? Am I going to get out of it what I put into it is what somebody is saying. Somebody is is, 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 is looking at the situation. You know, somebody's wanting to share some light on a new beginning here. Should I invest in this situation? Why is the Ace of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles and the Hermit? Judgment. Someone's making a judgment. Someone is deciding that a new beginning with someone is it may not be a good investment. That's what I'm getting to. The Queen of Pentacles, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Why is justice here? The Seven of Swords, because something was not balanced. With the Seven of Swords and justice, something was not balanced. Why is the Seven of Swords with justice? Temperance. And the King of Cups. Somebody was definitely sneaking off. Someone's definitely sneaking off, possibly seeing a water sign. Mm. Why is this King of Cups here? Why is the King of Cups here? The sun card. Hmm. Whatever somebody was doing in the dark, it sure came to the light. Okay? Somebody was sneaking off seeing somebody else and it came to the light here. With the sun card being here? Yeah. It came to the light. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we got the five of wands. So, there was competition, fussing, fighting, and arguing. I'm not understanding why you guys are still in this energy. I'm, I'm really not. You know, retrograde, we still in the shadow period of it, but it's over. Somebody is still thinking about what has happened in the past. Somebody is not letting the past go. Or somebody is still holding on to someone's energy here. Because I've heard this story before. I've heard this story before. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Yeah, it brought clarity here. Something unexpected happened and it brought a lot of clarity to somebody here. It came to the light. Something came to the light. Okay? And somebody moved on with the Six of Swords. The Page of Swords. Someone is spying right now on someone. Why is the Page of Swords here? Someone definitely got some victory in this situation with this unexpected whatever happened. Someone got victory in it because someone got a lot of clarity. Someone got a lot of clarity here. We have the Strength card. Could be dealing with a Leo. Lot, a lot of earth here. Heavy earth. Heavy earth here. And heavy air. Why is the strength card here? Someone's definitely controlling their emotions. We have the king of wands. The hangman. And the Ace of Cups. Somebody here is still in love with somebody. Bottom freaking line. I mean, come. somebody here is wearing a mask. Someone here is we definitely wearing a mask, y'all. They are not showing their true colors. They're not. Why is the Hermit here? Why is the Hermit here? Justice. Somebody here is definitely going to get things balanced. And somebody here is going to get victory. Why is justice here with the hermits? The knight of cups. Somebody's coming in with an apology. 
could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius wants to balance things out, wants to speak some truth. Somebody does want a truce here. I, I'm also hearing that too. You know, somebody here could just want to be friends too. Since the love part didn't work, can we just can we be friends? But you better be careful on that one because we got a sneaky person here. This Seven of Swords is here on this table. We got a sneaky person here, okay? We got a sneaky person, period. Ooh, and devil. Ooh, as I say, we got a sneaky person. Look, the devil is at the bottom of the deck. Listen, y'all. <laughs> Somebody is going to be like, okay, since we can't, you know, be lovers and so on and so, can we be friends? Be careful with that because somebody is trying to get close to you again. Somebody's trying to get close to you again on the low, low. Uh-huh. Yeah. And it's going to, it's, it's not, mm -mm. y'all, it ain't going to work out. It ain't going to work out. We got the tower here and the eight of cups. And the devil. Come on now. It ain't going to work. It's not going to work. Why is justice here with the knight of cups? The ten of swords. Someone is done. Period. Somebody ain't even going to be your friend. So I don't know Libra if this is you or somebody else. But somebody don't even want to be friends with you. <laughs> somebody feels that you're very toxic. The devil is right here again. The devil is here again. Let's see. Give me some more on this Ten of Swords. You've been, you've been going through something with somebody for quite some time. Yeah, somebody in your past. And it's over. Yeah. Definitely a, a, a soulmate connection here you got with this person. A very strong connection. Yeah. Um, who we at? I had all those other videos. They were so long. I'm not going to do this one long like that. Let's get an outcome. What is the outcome here for Libra? What is the outcome here for Libra? The Wheel of Fortune. A fresh new start. End of delays. Sudden or unexpected changes. Something is going to go in your favor, Libra. This is a very positive change that, that's going on in your life. Some of you guys are going to be getting a new vehicle. Some of you guys are going to be traveling. And we have, yeah, the Six of Swords. You're moving on. You're moving on. You're starting a new life, period. It's over. Thank God. I was just talking about this energy. You guys are finally letting something go. I guess somebody going somebody to want to balance things out with somebody. And that person is going to be held to the no. And that's going to, you know, close up everything, period. It's, gonna, it's time. It's time for this. It's time for something to close. It's time. Absolutely. It's time. You go your way and let them go their way, okay? Yeah, it's time. Because somebody, this is not reconcilable. Somebody, this is just a missed opportunity and let's just accept that. It's a missed opportunity. Libra, you feel that somebody is a missed opportunity because of competition. Fuss and fighting and arguing, jealousy. Yeah. Let's get you guys a romance angel and see what they're talking about for Libra. What are you talking about for Libra? Yeah, you guys are definitely moving on. And 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 as you should. As you should. You should move. It's time. It's time. It's time. Give me... All right, some of you guys are definitely moving towards engagements. Give me... What do you have for Libra? God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. What do you have for Libra? One more, okay. At the bottom of the deck, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So, let's see what we have. 
Oh, children was in reverse. I wonder why. Your love life is being affected by children. Um, very soon, decide what it is that you want. It's time for you to let somebody go. So that you can move on. You deserve love. You are lovable. And romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So it looks like you are currently dealing with someone that's definitely going to lead to engagement. But there's someone else you have to let go of. I'm not sure if it's physically or if it's energetically. You definitely have to let go of someone because there is someone here already. There's someone here already. Maybe this person has children. You got children. I don't know. But don't let children affect your, 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 your situation. I mean, find, um, you know, a healthy babysitter. You know, someone that you can trust. You know, to, if you need, you know, time away and you don't have no one to watch the kids so that you can, you know, flourish whatever it is that you got going on, then that's what you, that's what you need to do because you do deserve love, okay? Everyone deserves love, Libra, okay? This is what I have for you, Libra. If you resonate with it, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.